thank you. And camera is rolling. Camera rolling, please. Running up, embered. Okay. okay, action, please. Scene one. Take one. Um, I'm Duncan Nicholl. I'm the writer and director of Coleman. I'm John Fairfield. I'm the producer of Coleman. Um, though it was an idea I'd been sort of working on for a while, when the SFTN short scheme came up, all they required was an outline. So I kind of stripped it back to just a page outline and sort of notes and mood boards and applied to the scheme with that and got on the shortlist. And from that point, it was a lot of sort of, it was development workshops basically looking at stories. So I kind of went back to the start and although the key sort of things still happen in it that happened in kind of early draft, I guess, it was definitely sort of fleshed out a bit, I think. And, uh, I thought more about the world that takes place in the sort of broader world, which is still left fairly uh, ambiguous as to exactly what's going on. Though, you know, that sort of became a bigger element of it, I think, certainly. And um, I guess through that process, obviously, I had to become involved with the producer, and uh, that's how uh, I hooked up with John. Hello. When uh, Duncan got in touch with me and I first started looking at the treatment and the script, Instantly made. I instantly made that connection with the road, um, and I already had a connection with the movie The Road after I'd seen it. After I just became a father, so that whole protective element was one of the key things in the script that I kind of latched onto, uh, being a parent. Action. Just scum. Hold on anything. Screech! Bye! For me it's been great because obviously John has his quite regular flyboy crew um, who've all worked together numerous times so I guess that's been really good to have a unit of people who are used to working together and used to working hard together as well I think. Um, in terms of the, so we, you know, John obviously knows they all work together well. And aside from that, you know, we got um, things like you know the bird handler, the military vehicles, and all that sort of thing brought in as well. So it's all sort of added together to make it all look great. Yeah, the, <clears throat> I mean, the, the script was always going to be like majorly ambitious, uh, and for the budget we have, which we are. You know, grateful to have a budget yeah. of any sort. Um, it was an ambitious script for the money that was that was available. Um, but when we were speaking with the SFTN and when we had the pitch, uh, especially, I remember saying, "It's." Uh, I remember saying, uh, looking at the, the script and looking at the, the, the budget that, that I'd, I drafted. Uh, I, I don't think there's anything major that's jumping out at me that really gives me pause. And I, I'm pretty tired, this is day five, um, <laughs> so final day of filming, but um, as much as I am tired and it's been a really hard pre-production process and a hard shoot and we've had problems that have set us back, we've managed to overcome those, um, I still kind of stand by that. I think that um, having looked at the script and knowing the network that, that Flyboy has and um, obviously Duncan as well you know, um, has, has brought elements to the table that sort of aided the production in so much as uh, being able to network with favours and just getting things uh, in kind for the, for, for the film and for production. Um, I, st I still stand by that. I, st I still think we've done a really good job for what we've um, had in the way of the budget and I, st I think we've done, uh, we haven't compromised on much at all. I think that the production value is high. I think that we've pushed the bar quite far for what we've had available to us. And I think it's going to really reflect and be a testament to all that hard work on the screen.